From the 1920s to the late 40s, slot machines were common fixtures in many Montana speakeasies, taverns, and saloons. By 1950, the Montana Supreme Court ruled the machines were illegal under the Montana State Constitution. Establishments were raided and many machines destroyed. Today, collectors prize antique mechanical slot machines for their colorful history and unique craftsmanship. Kevin Mackey has our Montana Moment. Uh, my name is Wes. I live in Deer Lodge and I restore mechanical slot machines. These antique machines are not used for gambling. It's mostly the home buyer that, you know, that just wants it for decoration. These old timers have become popular collector's items. For the last eight years, I have worked on an average of 120 slot machines a year. Wes doesn't work on any machine newer than 1950. Okay, this is a 1930s castle front made by Mills which will be my next project. When Wes Har is done, this is what it will look like. I admire what they used to do back in the, you know, in the 40s, especially. I like the ones after the war. Like this one is called a page boy, and this was uh, probably 1945. Here's the sweetheart. These are made probably 1939, and this is cast iron. This is the 1934 pace, and they call it a fancy front. Wes has his own small collection of antique machines. And I like Montana machines because they got Montana stickers on them. He's too young to remember when slot machines were common in Montana. But uh, when I used to talk to my mom and my dad about them, they told me that they were really rare and that you couldn't find them anymore because they all were destroyed. That was the law. The, they actually came in uh, and got axes and everything and they chopped them up. Wes bought three antique mechanical machines when he was just 15. He still has them. They're fun to have. His dad made a living repairing jukeboxes, pinball machines, and other mechanical machines in Dillon. I used to kind of follow him around and that's kind of how I started. Wes restored this jukebox several years ago, but today he devotes his energy to restoring the slots. He's a retired printer who loves the intricacies of moving parts. Here's his latest challenge. This is made by Charles Fay. Charles Fay invented the slot machine. Just a very early slot machine. I've never worked on one. He thinks that machine was made in San Francisco, but most of these were made in Chicago. This is a, what they call a war eagle. This is a Mills. They call that a bursting cherry. He says they're all works of art. This is a sweepstakes. These are made by Jennings, and I have all my Jennings put in a roll. These are my favorites. Now, these machines were terrific. You had a place for your ashtray, a place for your drink, and hopefully a place for your money. Oh, look at that. Three cherries. Well, I just hit three cherries and I want 11 quarters. <laughs> These come from the Elks in Missoula. You run out of quarters, you put that on there so nobody will come and play it while you go get some more quarters. There are dollar machines, 50 cent machines, machines that took dimes, nickels, and pennies. A side vendor was added to machines like this. And every time you play it, you get a gumball. If you put in a penny and you don't win, it's not gambling because you always get a gumball. It's Wes keeps plenty of pennies and gumballs on hand for his grandkids. He says almost all these machines came from Montana. All Montana moments from long ago. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana.